Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Let us go straight to South Africa to look at the criminal life of Tabo Besta. Tabo Besta is a South African national, born on June 13, 1986, and his life has been characterized by crime and murder. He was arrested for rape, murder, and scamming and is popularly known as the Facebook rapist because he was luring his victims through Facebook. Besta was sentenced to life imprisonment in 2012 for numerous crimes including rape, murder, and scamming. But sadly, he successfully faked his own death in a maximum G4S prison in South Africa by setting his cell on fire. Everyone believed that he was dead and was even buried. However, the DNA on the bench dead body suggested that it wasn't Tabu Besta. Rather, abandoned dead bodies were used and he escaped successfully. Later reports indicated that he was helped by his girlfriend, who is a doctor, Dr. Nandifa. But well, people, let us look at Besta's life briefly. He was born out of rape and didn't know his father and grew up to become a ruthless, wicked murderer rapist and international scammer. As some even describe him as someone born into the world of darkness as his existence marked by tragedy and crime. He was first convicted when he was just 17 years and was released in 2004. Since then, his name became synonymous with crime, murder and scamming. He went to prison again and was released in 2011 after 73 years. He was arrested again in the latter part of 2011 and re-arrested again in 2012 and was sentenced to life imprisonment with the possibility of parole after 25 years for the crime of murder in 2011 and the murder of his girlfriend in 2012. But funny enough, in prison, Bester successfully ran a media company and made his clients to believe that he's based in New York, that's the United States of America. And at one point, they even organized a birthday party for him in the prison, and he was on video call with them. And the participant didn't know that he was in prison. Bester was described by those who know him as a humble and well-kept person, who it is very hard for anyone around him or dealing with him to suspect any criminality about him. But he is a very hardened criminal, and it was the life sentence he was serving before he escaped from prison by faking his own death, setting his cell on fire. A manhunt was launched for him and his accomplices, including some members of the security services. He is noted to be well connected to the top officials who may have helped him or help in his, in his escape. But the good news is, Bester was rearrested in Tanzania and repatriated to South Africa on the 13th of April, 2023. He is currently behind bars and was arrested with his girlfriend, Dr. Nandifa, who left her kids and husband to be with an international criminal. Until his next escape, Tabo Bester is back into prison in South Africa. Hmm. Please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Thank you so much.